Ashley, you're on mute. Yeah, I got this. We got this. We got this. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Hi, guys. Wow, we are almost at 200 people. This is insane. Y'all, I upgraded my Zoom today and paid an extra 50 bucks just so all of you extra 100 people could hop on. So you need to do me a favor. Unless you are working out, you need to turn your camera on and you need to be present. Don't be watching TV in the background. Don't be sending out invites. Don't be trying to do the tools and tricks that I'm going to be teaching you until I tell you to do it with me. Be present because you took time out of your night to be on this call. 200 of you. Do you know 300 people RSVP'd and y'all came? Y'all came and y'all are showing up. So before I introduce myself real quick, if you post on your Insta stories, which you should, and I'll share why you should within the call, tag me, okay? Tag me, I wanna share the stories, I wanna go give you love on your stories, so tag me. So if you do not know me, hi, my name is Ashley Odenweller. Whew, I'm a little nervous, I am not gonna lie. I have been a coach for eight and a half years and I have never done a training. I guess I did do a training in the Beachbody Champions page, but that was just like me at the camera. Um, can somebody help Caroline out for me? Cause I know you guys can hear me. So if somebody can help her out, she says that she can't hear or see anything, that would be phenomenal. Um, but I've never seen all of these faces in all of, there's nine screens, holy crap. Okay, so I have been a coach for eight and a half years. Um, and I'm going to share the shiny accolades is that I don't do words people. So if I say, I think that's a word, we're going to go with it. Okay. Um, and I'm sharing that because I don't think of myself as anybody special. Um, and I think it's good to hear what my rankings are to show you that anybody can have the following that I have. And I don't even consider myself having a high following, but you can get to where I'm at. So I've been a coach for eight and a half years. I am a four-star diamond in my first CBC. I'm a two-star diamond in my second CBC. I'm a diamond in my third CBC. My husband's two-star in his CBC and diamond in his second CBC. We have five CBCs joined together. I've never hit five-star. I've never hit elite. I've been premiere two times. I've hit success club 75 months in a row in my business. And I have hit success club five, 28 months in a row in my husband's business. So when someone's like, I can't find three people to get a help in this business, you are full of crap. Y'all, I curse. I will not apologize. I will not filter myself. This is who I am. So if you don't like it for this first 45 minutes, just cover your ears. Okay. Um, I do this full time. My husband and I both left corporate America. I was a retail manager um, with a background, a degree in social work. Um, and my husband left as a, uh, an accountant for a Fortune 500 company. And on top of that, you know me, me from my cup business. We also do that on the side as well. That's me. That's me in a nutshell. I'm sure there's other shiny, other little things out there, but I think sometimes we get so wrapped up on the shiny things that that doesn't matter. Okay. That doesn't matter right now. Woo woo. So it's really human services, Chelsea, but no one knows what human services is. And it's like a stepping stone below social work. So I just say social work because nobody knows what human services is. And I know the social workers are like, you are not a social worker. I know I'm not. I know I'm not, but nobody ever knows what human services is. Okay. So I have slides y'all. So I am going to save time at the end of this call to go over things with you and to do a Q and a session. Okay. So what I want you during this call, run, go get a notebook, hurry up, go get like four or five pens so you don't run out of ink. Um, and I will share the recording with you guys, okay? I will share it in the Boss Babes group, um, which I think is where probably a majority of you are coming from. And I will share it on my YouTube channel, Ashley Odenweller. I'm the only one on there probably with that last name. Um, so we're gonna do a share screen and we are just going to get to it. Um, so while I'm doing this, I am gonna emphasize with this guys, you're gonna hear things from other people um, that you're like, I've heard other people say you shouldn't do that or my coach has taught me differently. I am not telling you what you have to do, but what I am telling you is what has worked for me for being on Instagram and how I've gotten to where I'm at. So I'm not an expert by any way, shape or form. I say that a lot. Um, I'm just sharing what works for me guys. Okay. And a lot of people had asked me to do a call and instead of doing like 20 calls for like 10 people, I said, the more the merrier, let's do this. So Instagram tips and tricks. Um, so first things first guys, um, your Instagram account guys is not going to go overnight. I have been on Instagram before I even became a coach. I was doing the coach things before I even knew what coaching was all about. 
And I also want to emphasize with this because my, one of my coaches just texted me and said, you better tell them this. I have an upline. She does not work the business. Everything I have learned, I went out and learned myself. I went to YouTube to figure the things out. I went to YouTube to figure out Instagram. I figured it out. So often I see so many coaches waiting for their upline to tell them how to do it. Or I don't have an upline, so I can't be successful. And that's just like this object, this obstacle that you've put into your head. So I wanted to share that because I think it's important to know that I've got into where I'm at because of the work and the hustle and the sacrifices and the late nights and the tears and the failures. That's how I've gotten to where I'm at. Okay. So I've been on Instagram since 2012. Y'all, if y'all go to my profile, I think I have like 4,000 posts. I have learned, I have made mistakes. I have done the no no's that I'm going to talk about. Um, but I think a lot of times we see somebody's Instagram and then we compare ourselves to their Instagram and they're like, Oh my God, they have 32,000 followers, but I only have a thousand, but I've only been on Instagram for six months. I should have more than that. It does not happen overnight. Just like you're not going to hit 15 star in the first six months of your business. Like I don't even think that is possible. Um, so, and I have zero background in social media, none whatsoever, but I have learned social media like a boss. I follow the trends. I do the research. Um, and not only when it comes to Instagram, when like pages were a thing, I grew my like page to 38,000 followers. I've grown this Instagram account, my personal one to 32,000 followers. I have two other Instagram accounts for other business. I've grown those to 12,000 followers and 38,000 followers. So when I'm sharing my tips and my tricks, it's what has worked for me and it's proof that it's worked for me. Um, and quit comparing yourself to other people's Instagram accounts. I think sometimes we get into that web where we start to look at other people's Instagram accounts and then we follow down this like deep, dark web where we have to be like them and then we try to do all the things and then we lose sight of who we are. And I'm going to talk about this once and only once. I asked the boss babes group, what do you want to learn about? And people are like, the robots. Forget about the damn robots, Okay. You're going to have people vote on your polls. They will get caught eventually and Instagram will boot them and they will get blocked. Anytime a robot and a robot is, you go to their page and they're not following you. Why would they vote on their poll if you're not following you? And you can tell who they are. I just block them. That way I don't have to worry about voting them. They get little to no effort of my time. So if that is your objection, I don't do polls because of the robots. Y'all, that is a bull crap excuse, okay? Um, so how did I get to where I'm at on Instagram? One, I earned my results. I show up every single day. I don't take weeks off and then come back. I don't stop what I'm doing and disappear, even through this wonky, chaotic, crazy, unpredictable time that we are currently going through. I have showed up every single day like it's my job because it is my job. My job is to be on social media. How badass is it, guys, that our job is to be on social media and share our lives? I think that's pretty freaking awesome. I'm just saying. Even, um, so I have a two and a half year old, a very smunky two and a half year old. I had a severe morning sickness. I was like, just wait till the end of the first trimester. It's going to go away. They lied to me. They told me the worst lies I've ever been told in my life. And I was sick until I was 18 weeks along. Like literally I laid on my couch for 18 weeks and did nothing. I couldn't drink psychology. I couldn't work out. And we didn't share until I was like seven weeks. No, nine weeks. Um, and it was because I couldn't tell people I had a cold one more day. They're like, why aren't you working out? Oh, I have a cold. <laughs> I'm eating Cheerios because nothing sounds good. And even during those times, I still showed up. So you have to be consistent. And I am consistent. I have never stopped and started over and over. If you were that coach, that's like, I'm back. And then two weeks later, you're gone. On the plate, I'm back. No, you are not. Nobody is going to trust you and nobody is going to believe you. Okay. And I also don't post, join me, join me. I have been in um, Instagram pods guys, where you just like comment on people's posts. And I had to leave them because every single post they did was join me, join me. Do you want to hang out with me? Do you want to be a part of my team? It was disgusting. And I don't mean that in a mean way. Um, I mean, it in a truthful way, cause that's not what your Instagram should be about. And we'll talk about that. Um, I am giving as much as I can. 
just like I am with you guys. I did not have to take an hour, hour and 15 minutes out of my night of working my business to help you grow yours. But I like to give, I like to help other people. So I make sure that my content is that way. And I also post to my brand as much as I can. Um, so if you go to my Instagram right now, it's kid, dog, cup, workout, outside life. I live in hoodies and I never wash my hair. Like that is my brand. And if you go to my stories, that is my brand. And I post to it as much as I can. What happens is when we become a coach, we suddenly forget that we were somebody before we became a coach and our entire feed is sweaty selfie, sweaty selfie, sweaty selfie, stock photo, sweaty selfie, sweaty selfie. What about who you were before? You, you were somebody before and we need to talk about that. Okay, so we're, let's dive into the content and don't worry y'all, stories is coming. We gotta get through the nitty gritty stuff before we get to the fun stuff. Um, so content guys, you need to quit posting me, 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 me. Nobody wants to follow somebody where it's me, 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 me. They want to follow somebody who's giving back to them. One account, uh, she's a good friend of mine. She, Amy Grasso. I know she's probably not on this call. Um, her account is amazing. She is always giving. She is always giving people ideas. She's always giving people um, recipes. She's always giving people tips. She is a giver. And if, so if you need inspo and remember, don't compare yourself to her, but if you need inspo, go check out her account so that sharing recipes with people, see the way she does her recipes. I totally started following her recipes. She loves to share workouts. That's not my jam and it doesn't have to be your jam, but that's the way that she gives. My way of giving is giving different ideas for kiddos or giving different ideas of how to work from home because I run two different businesses. You have to quit making your content all about me. Nobody wants to follow somebody who's only posting about them and nothing else. It's that one song, um, what's it by Trey Atkins? Let's talk about me, me, me. If you're a country fan, you know what song I'm talking about. Um, if your post every single day or join me, drop an emoji below for info, you're not giving, you're just taking. And you can't be like that. If you want to gain a following, if you want people to engage with you, you can't just be giving or taking, you have to be giving. Y'all quit posting the same damn selfie in the same damn spot every damn day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. And I see the chat bar y'all, but if I go to it, squirrel, it will happen. It's, if I go to somebody's page and it's literally the same selfie every single day, y'all spruce it up. Okay. Go get your ring light. If you're, if your lighting sucks, go get your ring light. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. You may have to wait until like May to get it, but go get you one. Take different photos, do it outside. Now that the weather is slowly starting to turn better. Don't just do, um, the same selfie. You need to switch it up. If I go to your Instagram account right now, I want to see a variety of pictures. If you go to mine right now, it's a variety of pictures. Quit doing the same thing every single day. Um, and I don't talk about it in this call y'all. Um, if you want to learn about presets, Google it and watch a YouTube video. That is how I learned. I've seen some people, well, I never did it because I couldn't. I don't know how to do it. Figure it out. Everything is figure outable. Okay. Go figure it out. Quit sharing just the highlight reel. And I'm going to share, I did a huge bunch of polls and quizzes um, last week while I was prepping for this call. People want to see a human being. People don't want to see a robot. People don't want to see the perfect form or the perfect moves. I shared a picture yesterday. My two and a half year old had her little veterinarian tweezers was tweezing my butt and going underneath my legs while I was trying to work out yesterday. I shared that because people can relate to that. I had so many DMs like, oh my gosh, that is my life right now. Like they understood it. You don't have to share the, everything if you don't want to. I'm an open book. I share everything about my life. Um, and that's allowed me to really connect with other people but you cannot just be a highlight reel. And then lastly, guys, about content is, you know how if you, and I give you permission to go to your phone real quick, guys. So if you go to Instagram really quickly and you go to like someone's picture and, and you just open up your feed and you have two sentences before it says more, you need to grab their attention before they click on their more. That is prime content real estate. Has that, have any of you even like thought of this before? 
prime content real estate right there because people get an idea of what that post is before they hit more. And as silly as it sounds, it better grab their attention or they don't want anything to do with it. So for example, for today's post, it says our health is not canceled, our fitness is not canceled. That is what grabbed people's attention before they even made it to the more section. So really be mindful of what you're posting in those first two sentences. Okay. Um, so that's content. Again, I will answer questions at the end guys. Okay. Oh, hashtags. Okay. I know there are coaches out there that say you don't need to use hashtags. That's cool. Um, I don't know exactly what the reasoning is of why we teach that. Um, but if you are not using hashtags, you are leaving untapped potential out there. So I put up some screenshots of different reach and I'll teach you guys on how you guys can find this as well. Um, so one post, it reached 54,000 people, or I'm sorry, 53,000 people. Of that, 46,000 people came from hashtags. If I would have not used hashtags on that post, 46,000 people never would have seen it. Now, yeah, of course I have a really big one, but I wanna compare the lower ones to you as well. I had another post um, that reached the bottom photo that says it reached 4,173 people. Only 164 people saw it from the hashtag. So that shows me those hashtags were not good hashtags. We learn from what we're doing. But if you're not using hashtags, how do you expect people to find you? And I'll share how what I'm using for my hashtags again at the end of the call. Um, and I think sometimes we overthink hashtags. I use hashtags that has to do with the market and the niche of people that I want to reach my ideal customer. So I use mom life hashtags. I use dog mom hashtags. I have PCOS and I have endometriosis. endometriosis. I use those type of hashtags. Um, I had a C-section. I share about that. I have postpartum anxiety. Yep. Two and a half years later, still got it. I use hashtags like that. So often we think that the hashtags have to be in correlation to the photo that we're using, but it's not. So funny story about that is I use dog mom hashtags before I became a real mom. I was a dog mom. I have my 12 year old senior citizen somewhere around here. And I use the hashtag dog mom on a post and it was a fitness related post because people that are looking for fitness posts generally, generally, gen generally aren't looking for a coach, but people that stumble upon you from a hashtag has nothing to do with fitness. They didn't know they needed you until they saw you. So I put a dog mom post in his fitness and this girl was like, it was a really good post, but next time maybe you shouldn't use dog mom. It has nothing to do with dogs. And I was like, that's actually like how Instagram works. Like you want to use hashtags for the people that you want to find you. I recently signed up a new customer and anytime a new customer reaches out to me from on Instagram and fills out my form, I say, Hey, how, how did you find me? She goes, Oh, I found you through hashtag Disney years. Nothing to do with fitness. And she found me through hashtag Disney ears. Okay. Um, so don't use the same ones every single time, but how do you expect people to find you? If you're not using hashtags, like how do you expect new people to find you? I don't know about you, but I do not want to sit there and have 50 conversations every single day trying to find new followers. Like I, I don't have time for that. Use the hashtags y'all use them. I see the chats. I love the chats. Um, I promise I will come through and I probably won't read them. Um, to be honest, but cause there's gonna be a lot. All right. My go-to tool guys. Okay. So I'm going to exit the screenshot so I can share the other one. What is this black thing on the screen? Like, what is this little thing? So my go-to tool for hashtag, it's called flick tech. It is a website. It is not an app. It's $9.99 a month and it's 100% worth it. The way I look at it is, so what I spend $120 a year. If I sell three challenge packs from three people that have found me on Instagram, I have made my money back. Um, and it helps you find hashtags based on their growth. Um, so let me, I'm going to screen share to a new, um, a new screen. Cause I brought it up cause I really wanted to show you guys. This was something that you guys really wanted to hear about. Um, can somebody drop a chat? If you can see this screen right here, this flick screen. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks guys. Um, so I pay for it. I'm logged in. Okay. So I put up a hashtag, say I did like a food recipe. So I may want, um, I may want to say I did a food recipe and I want to use food hashtags because a lot of times people that are looking for recipes, obviously they're going to use food hashtags. So I'm going to do a simple dinner. I'm going to type in simple dinner to this box right here. Okay. 
I think you get seven days free too, guys, when you sign up. I may even have a referral link. I don't even know. Um, if I do, I'll share with you guys. I have no idea. I could care less, but I think I do. Okay, so this is how it works, guys. And it looks a little bit different um, from on my screen than what it does on your, um, sorry, I have my chat box and exactly what's happening. I'm being scroll moment. So it's going to show you low competition hashtags, medium competition hashtags, and high competition hashtags. Also, when you're looking on your phone, it's actually going to tell you how many people have shared um, that hashtag with their post. I try to limit mine to about 250,000 because anything more than that, it's going to be a heavily saturated hashtag. So if you do hashtag workout, 8.9 million people have tagged that hashtag. So I used what, what, what did I search for again? Um, simple dinner. So simple dinner, yet delicious, simple dinner at homes. So what I start to do is I start to click on them and it's going to save them over here. Um, simple lunch, cooking at home for the best, um, simple, easy dinner ideas. Okay. So I used a couple dinner ones, so we're good. And then I'm like, Hmm, what can I check next? Um, Pinterest dinners. So I'm going to type in Pinterest dinners and it'll tell you right down here. Why can this thing like, please get off my screen, this little chat thing. I don't like it. Um, I don't know what it said, but it'll tell you if it doesn't work. And it'll also tell you if hashtags are banned, shadow banned on Instagram, which I really, really love because if you use a hashtag that's shadow banned on Instagram, you're also going to be shadow banned, which means people can't find that post. Um, so let's try Pinterest fails. Actually, let's try Pinterest. Do we try Pinterest dinner? We try Pinterest dinner. Pinterest meal. Let's see if that pulls up anything. That didn't pull up anything either. Okay, so now I'm just gonna type in mom life, guys. So I'm just gonna show you some other ideas. So again, these are your low competition, these are your medium competition, and these are your high competition. So I may use one of these sometimes. Like I'm just gonna use motherhood rising. It sounds good. Um, new mama, yeah, I can relate. I had a, I mean, I could relate to new moms. It's been two and a half years, but if somebody reached out to me, absolutely not. Um, this is motherhood. That's a good one. Tired mother. Yup. Sounds great to me. Um, mom life got me like that, like goes with my flow, super sarcastic. So I've done mama life. Now I'm going to maybe do PCOS journey. So I have PCOS. So it's going to pop up anything that's related to PCOS. Y'all get the gist, right? Like the, does this make sense? I will look at the chat for this really quickly. This is what I use to, for my Instagram for every single hashtag. Okay. Um, Every single hashtag is what I use for this. Um, and it's so hundred, so worth the money. Okay. Um, 100% worth the money in my opinion. And guys, I know a lot of people are like giving other tips on the call. And I just ask that if you're going against what I'm saying, maybe keep it to yourself to share in another post another day. Cause I don't want it to be confusing. And I don't also want people to like get away from what I'm, teaching you guys essentially, um, and then start down this rabbit hole. So if you have any tips, share them in the boss babes groups. Um, I just want to make sure we're all in there. Um, so this is what I can do. Um, and another tip guys that I would also recommend to you is I'm going to go back to the other is you can save them in your notepad. Okay. Um, so I have a notepad created on my phone. Um, that has different hashtags. So if it, why can't I get to present? There we go. So what I do is I just go into my phone, um, into the notes section and I have an entire folder called hashtags. So that way, if I find a set of hashtags that are really working really well for me, which you can find based on checking your impressions, I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, they're in there. So I used to run a lot. So I have running hashtags. I have food hashtags. I have planner hashtags. You really are just going to have to do your research with hashtags. And by research, you're going to have to figure out what does and does not work for you. Okay. Um, and by using this tool, I don't have to go out there and find new hashtags and do a bunch of research. Like it's doing the research for me. And that is well worth my money. Okay. Let's talk about your bio real quick, guys, because I really want to get to the Insta stories. Um, so back in the day, most of us probably did this with our bio. It was one word with an emoji. Um, and we just put as many in there as we could. And that's how we grab people's attention. Just as Instagram goes, things are always changing and you really want to go with the change when it comes to Instagram, okay? Um, so now it's no longer the one word with an emoji. You have about 10 to 15 seconds to capture somebody's attention. They are gonna come to your bio and figure out if they should be following you. And if your bio is bland, if it's just a bunch of one words, if it doesn't tell them exactly why they should follow you, they're gonna move on. 
So mine tells you exactly why you should, what I do. I virtually help other women find fulfillment in their everyday life through community and fitness. And then it says, click the jo my link to join me. And directly in my link is the first thing, join me for my workouts. So you want to give them a call to action for your link. You don't want to just have a link right there. You want to tell them, why should they click on that link? They're clicking on my link to join my community. If your Instagram name is your name, you see where it says virtual mentor, don't put your name right there. They already know what your name is based off of your Instagram. Again, this is gold, so use it wisely. So I'm a virtual mentor. I use the word coach loosely. Um, it's just my personal preference, preference, so I'm a virtual mentor. Everything I do is virtually. I have one customer that lives in the same town as me, and she's literally my neighbor, and that is it. Everybody else I've met is through social media. So spend some time on your bio to make it work for you. Figure out who exactly is your ideal client and what exactly you are offering. But definitely make sure you guys are cleaning up your bio. All right, let's talk about algorithm really quickly um, because I think a lot of people, we get hung up in the algorithm. Um, so a couple of things. Um, again, I do a lot of research when it comes to Instagram. I've heard people say videos equal more. They don't. Pictures and videos are equal when it comes to your feed. It doesn't matter if you post one more than the other. It's all about engagement, likes, all of that fun stuff. All comment links count equally. There's some myth out there for whatever reason that you have to have four or more words for it to count as a comment. That is not true. It just needs to be like a wholesome engagement for it to count as engagement, okay? So all comments and links count equally. The first let me just pop down. Mute everybody real quick. All right, I think I got it. Um, and then a lot of times we hear, I spelled length wrong, um, that the first 30 minutes depends on how well your feed's going to, or how well your post is going to do. And again, that is not true as well, guys. Again, it's just depending on the, the likes, the follows, the reshares, the comments. Um, so that's the most important. And that's what you guys really want to focus on is the comments, the likes, the reshares, and the video posts. So I try to post a like white quote background at least once a week. And this is the reason why I shared one. I had it up for an example. Let me go find it really quickly. Um, and it was one with a white quote in the background. Um, let me do my last 30 days. And it got, let's see. That's not the one I wanted. Where the, it must have been shorter. I'm trying to find it really quickly. Um, this one, one minute you're young and fun and the next minute you're excited about getting an air fryer. It reached 25,000 people. It was shared, reshared in people's stories 228 times and saved 38 times. That's pretty good. That's what you want when it comes to your feed. You want the reshares, you want the saves, you want the likes, you want the comments. And that's why we need to be giving wholesome, good not wholesome. I don't know why I said wholesome, but good quality content. So when I'm sharing recipes, I want them to save it and I prompt them to save it so they can come back to it. You want things that people want to share in their stories. Just like we share these quotes that we see on our Explorer page. That's the same thing that you want. Okay. So that's a little bit about their algorithm. Are we getting to stories? Okay, let's get to the good stuff. I love Insta stories, guys. Okay. As soon as Insta stories became a thing, I was here for them. I don't even know what Instagram was like before Insta stories. Like I was thinking back to 2014, it was, there was a month that I hit like ridiculously high success club numbers, like 80 or something. And it was all from Instagram. DMs weren't a thing. Instagram stories weren't a thing. And I'm like, how the heck did I do that? Like, I can't even imagine. Um, but Instagram stories are here to tell a story. And I used to be a person, again, lots of research. I've done lots of trainings, lots of investing to do Instagram trainings. Um, where I would just share a boomerang or I would just share a picture of my energizer or I would just share a sweaty selfie. And that wouldn't grab anybody's attention. My DMs were empty. Nobody was engaging with me, which I hear, heard from a lot. Like, how do I get engagement? How do I get new people following me? How do I get people commenting on my polls or my questions? You need to be telling a story and don't overthink this where you think you have to be telling this like grandiose story and there has to be a meaning behind your stories every single day because that's not right. Um, but are you sharing a picture? Are you sharing a boomerang? Is it telling a story? Or are you just simply posting to post? Okay, I just want to keep muting everybody as they hop on. Um, okay. 
No, every time I do that. So I did a little quiz last week on my stories and I want to talk about this first and then I'll get into all the fun stuff um, to give you guys a rough idea of the things that I'm sharing, the things that I'm doing and how people are taking them. So one of the questions, do you listen with sound or no sound? 70% people said they listened with sound 30% of people said they listened with no sound. I am sometimes a no sound type of person. So if you literally have nothing, but it's just you talking, I'm just going to keep on skipping past. Um, do you like stories with visuals or no? 86% of people said they prefer stories that have visuals. 14% said no. I use the same color scheme often to make my stories stand out. Does it draw you in? 77% said yes. 23% said not so much. Um, I asked people what, um, hey, what is this? Where did my quizzes go? Okay, so that was a little bit about the quizzes. Okay, I forgot it. So this was another question that I asked on my quizzes um, is what do you want to see? Because often I get people, well, I have a boring life, so I have nothing to share. There are other boring people out there. You are not the only boring person, okay? We all have very boring lives right now. I don't know if you know this, but we are all, not all of us, not the, the non-essential workers, we are all stuck at home. Our lives are boring, okay? <laughs> like, can we agree on that? So if you're like, well, I'm not sharing on my Instagram stories because I'm boring. Well, guess what? Sally Sue is going to love that you're boring and she's going to connect with you and she's going to want to follow you. So you need to be consistent with what you're sharing on your stories. The good, the bad, the ugly, the boring. So if you go to my stories, guys, every single morning, good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're having a great day. Today's workout is I'm on week four and day two of 10 rounds. Today is arms day. Every single morning. And if you watch my stories, you can vouch for me in the comments if you want to. And guess what? People know that is how I am starting my day. Um, so this is not a fun story, but story, um, we went before all COVID-19 happened. We went on, um, a vacation to Florida. We drove down there. Um, I posted up at 4 a.m. I posted my good morning. I was making my pre to head out the door, um, doing my stories on the road, and I disappeared for four hours. Only three people knew what was going on in those four hours. I came back to my DMs and people were like, are you okay? What's going on? You haven't posted. Well, no, we weren't okay. We got in a really bad car accident and totaled our car, and me being on Insta stories was the last thing on my mind. People knew that something wasn't right because I wasn't on Instagram. The We kept on um, when I was being induced to ourselves because I really didn't want my phone blowing up. And I really tried my best to like cover it up. But people knew they're like, you're in labor, aren't you? You haven't posted in 12 hours. You're in labor. That's how consistent I am. That if I do not post, people are wondering what's wrong. So when I ask people what they wanted to see on stories, Daily life, authenticity, mix of everything, workouts, real life. I got so many people saying real life, fitness tips, mix of home life, workouts, animals, easy meals, real life, daily life. Do you notice the trend? Life while we're going through this crap, we are all navigating this really wonky time together. So if more than anything, as Carl's been preaching, as corporates are preaching, as your uplines have been preaching, now is the time that you stay consistent and share your pouring daily life. Because right now, so many of us are spending time on Insta stories because we just want to know what's going on outside in other people's lives. So you got to share that. Okay. You got to share that. Um, so let's talk about standing out guys. And I'm going to go through a lot of this quickly because I want to do a lot of hands on with you guys, because I feel like that's going to be the best way to learn. Um, I add captions to every single story. Why? Because well, three slides ago, 30% of people said no, that they don't, or that they don't watch with sound. I want to grab those 30% of people and I want them to watch my story. If you, you need people to stay for three seconds for it to count as a view. And if you are just talking, 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 talking for 15 stories, which is 30, 60, I don't know. It's like three and a half minutes, I think. With no words, no captions, no gifts, I am not here for it. I want to know what you're talking about and I want to be able to read about it before I have to listen to the full 15 minutes, 15 seconds. So I add captions to every single story. One of the questions I got in the group was, does this add more time to you doing your stories? Yeah, but it makes me more mindful of what I'm sharing. I'm not just babbling on for five minutes about nothing. I'm more mindful. Um, 
So use captions, guys. It grabs people's attention. And again, you can reference my stories to get an idea of what I am talking about. Pick a color scheme and use it. So how I find my color schemes is I just go to Pinterest, guys. I Pinterest, Pinterest is like the gold mine for everything. And I just type in color scheme. And you're going to find colors that relate to you. I'm trying to figure out what my color scheme is right now. I'm really like in the mints with the undertones of the pinks and the blues. So I'm like switching it up. But I use the same color scheme for two to three months. Why? Well, what was that? What was that poll, guys? Um, same color scheme. 77% of my followers said, yeah, they want to see the same color scheme because they know when they go to my stories that it's me. I don't know if my coach Emily's on this call. I know I'm on her stories, even if I don't have a sound because every single story shows a purple border around her stories. Purple is her color. I know I'm on Emily's stories. All right. Got to make sure. Guys, if you're on, make sure you guys keep yourself muted, please. Um, but yeah, use gifts that relate to that story. So every single morning, good morning, guys. I have a sunshine every single day. I have a sunshine. Even if it's raining outside, I have a sunshine. Actually, I think I used a rainbow yesterday. I felt like having a rainbow in my life. Um, but use gifts that relate to what you're saying in that story. So like I did a story earlier. Oh my gosh, you guys are, so many of you guys have tagged me already and I love it. Um, I used, where's my gift? I was making my Shakeology and I was adding berries into it. So I had a berry gift. So that way people can kind of get an idea of like, Hey, that's what this is talking about. And if I can't find a gift that's related, I just put up a fun gift. Um, I love to do arrows. I love to do sparkles. I love to do leopard, things like that. Um, so you want them to stay for three seconds. That's why you have to make your stories pop. You need them for three seconds to count as a view. And I don't know if you guys know this, and if your account's set on personal, you can't see this. That's why I highly recommend either having it on business or I think it's um, a blogger, storyteller. I don't know. You'll have to Google it, okay, guys? Um, you can see your insights on your stories. Um, so I can see on one story that I did this morning, which was my good morning, y'all, um, showing my to-do list. It says that um, 26 people went to the next story. So that means 26 people didn't watch for three seconds. And that's totally okay because it wasn't really that engaging. It was just saying, hey, I got up at seven. I'm listening to a call. Um, so make sure your stories are standing out, okay? Skip through this. Um, and I have some examples to show you guys. Um, what is this? Is this the same thing? Yeah, this is the same story. Okay, um, here's a quick tip and then I'll get to the next slide for you guys because I um, doubled up on slides. If you are creating a story, save them to your camera roll, especially if you do them directly on Instagram. I can't tell you how many mornings I've done them on Instagram and then I get up to my workout room and my stories are gone. I save them directly to Instagram and as I'm sipping my pre, instead of watching other people's stories or scrolling social media, I'm putting my stories up and putting my text and everything on there or record them straight on your camera and then use cut story to upload them to your Instagram. Cut story will cut, cut, cut them down to 15 second clips each. Um, and that's how I do mine. I never directly upload from Instagram most of the times because I don't usually post in the moment. I share until I have time to put the time into my stories. Same with my workouts. Sometimes I don't even post my workouts till five o'clock even though I did them at nine o'clock in the morning. Okay, let's show some examples, guys. And I I'm i gonna pull up the chat so you guys can like interact in the chat, guys, um, and whatnot. So the picture on the left is a picture, just a picture, right? It's just a picture of my pre-workout. That's all it is. It's just a picture of me. Um, and I'll show you guys how to do the whole creator. Thank you, guys. I'll show you guys how to do like the color scheme and paste and all that fun stuff. Um, I will show you guys all of that, I promise. But I wanna get through these slides really quickly. So it's a picture on the left, okay? It's a picture of a cup, woohoo. So it grabs your attention. Maybe the cup grabs your attention. Other than that, like you're like, cool, cool, whatever. Picture on the right. I've got my colors, my brand colors and overlapping text. I love to do over, overlapping text, y'all. It's the easiest thing in the world. I think we overcomplicate it because so many people are like, I don't know how you do it. Super easy, I'll show you. I'm mentioning the cup and now guess what? I'm gonna get DMs asking where people are asking, people are asking where I got the cup from. The whole point of Instagram stories, guys, is to get DMs. You want DMs in your inbox. So you want to be sharing. This is why I share this because now I'm starting new conversations and the more people that are engaging with me, the more often they're going to be viewing my stories. Here's another example, guys. Okay. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Oh, that picture didn't pop up, but you'll get the idea. So sweaty selfie. Cool. Just another sweaty selfie. 
people are probably not going to even spend three seconds looking at it. Okay. They're not because they're like, cool. She worked out. Look at her. Maybe they'll be like, Ooh, look at that oblique. Probably not. Um, picture on the right. This stops people. This makes them read the post because it's got a double lap. They're ready. And I, sometimes I do ready to join me. It depends if my virtual gym's open or not. Um, but it's there. And then I have a poll. So I, this post, I specifically went back to see like what I've been keeping track of like data guys for last week for you guys. I had people ask me where I got my case from and where I got my headband from. Um, so that is an idea of how you can do it. Okay. Um, here's another example, guys. Um, I had to close the chat cause it was throwing me off. This was a cute, this was all the pictures it's not showing was the same picture you see on the side, but instead I took a few more seconds to spruce it up. I put a border around it. Again, I'll show you how to do. People are going to take the time to stop and read the quote. They're going to forget what the whole pre thing is saying. And then I use fun little dots. I'll, again, we'll talk about this. And then my last example, a picture of a planner, no reason to get a DM or engage with me. Maybe people be like, where did you get that planner from? Maybe, maybe not. But instead I made it not about me, but instead giving them an idea, giving them a tip. I actually posted this today and it said, make a daily to-do list and stay on track and organized throughout your day. I ask people, do you do a daily to-do list? Notice that poll has nothing to do with fitness. I'm just asking if they need a daily to-do list and I'm letting people know that I send decals out to my new coaches because that's fun. Um, I had four DMs asking me where the cup from and I had 17 DMs asking me where my planner was from. And I don't remember how many people voted on the poll because I haven't even looked at that yet. Again, you want people in your DMs. That's how you're going to get people to engage with you. Okay. I think we have a couple more slides and then I'll get to the sharing some stuff. Um, so bear with me guys. I don't want to go too fast, but I also want to make sure I'm not taking up too much of your time. Polls. You need to be doing polls and your polls should not just be join me. Do you want to join my virtual gym? And you should never do yes or no. Nothing makes me cringe more when I go to somebody's Instagram story and they have a poll of yes or no guess what they're going to choose? They're going to choose no, if they don't agree with it. So I do one to two daily polls that have nothing to do with join me. Today I did like a coronavirus poll. I got the idea from um, Brittany Kovacs. Um, and I did that. Um, I did a poll saying, Hey, did you get your workout in today? And at the end of the night, what I'm going to, what I do, anytime I do, did you get your workout in? It'll say, I already got it in. Or I'm going to get it in later. Everybody that said I got, I'm going to get it in later. I actually send them a DM and I'm like, Hey, did you get that workout in? They may not be my client. They may not do beach body, but I'm still going to check in on with them because they took the two seconds out of their day to respond to a poll. So I'm going to take the two seconds to copy and paste a message to see if they got their workout in. Simple. It shows people that you care. I ask some poll ideas because again, we overthink it. Ask ideas on outfits, shoe purchases, tips, recipes. People love to give their input on things. If you are a mom, you know what I mean. They love to give their input. So give them something to give their input on. Maybe do something fun where every Friday you get, or Thursday night, you let them pick out what your workout outfit's going to be the next day. Something fun. Um, I get Fabletics every single month. I always ask people, which one do you think I should get? I love to do polls. Julie Voris did this one time and I absolutely loved it. If you don't follow Julie Voris, she is a cup of sunshine and I need her in my back pocket at all times. Um, she asked like, where is your, like, where do you prefer to go for vacation? And it was either beach or mountains. And I voted beach and she's like, where's your favorite beach location? I was like, Hilton Head, hands down. Nothing to do with fitness. And she still reached out to everybody as far as I know and asked them where their favorite place to vacation was. Brilliant. For real yent, you are not inviting them. You are not sending them a DM to join me. You are simply engaging with them. And now you have DMs in your inbox. Um, and I try to engage with people that vote in my poll. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. It just depends on the day. Um, and if you do a join me poll, have it grab attention and DM everybody that replies. And this is why. You will have people that that vote on them. So if somebody's like, if you're like, are you ready to join me? And they say, I do like, heck yes, I'm ready. Or I'll do send me info. Usually those are the two that I say, I will message her and be like, Hey, thank you so much for voting on my poll. I know sometimes it happens on accident, but if you meant to let me know, I cannot wait to send more information to you. That way, one, I'm not word vomiting all over them. And two, then I can find out if they meant to vote on the poll and I can dive into that conversation. I had somebody join me last month. She has voted on my polls since 2018. 
I have invited her every single time she voted on one of my polls and she ghosted me every single time up until last week or last month, two years. That is why you continue to message them even if they've ghosted you before because you never know when they will be ready. You never know when they will be ready to say yes. Fun fact, it took me a year to say yes to coaching. An entire year my coach asked me and I never, I took me a year to say yes. Um, and I try to do a question once a week. Fun fact, y'all, if you're like, well, nobody ever replies to my questions. I try to do like, ask me anything. And you're like, well, nobody ever replies. Ask yourself questions. <laughs> you can type it in the box yourself and ask yourself questions. You're not the only one that does it. I do it too. Okay. So make sure you guys are doing polls. Um, let's talk about other algorithm really quickly. Um, I'll share some apps and then we're going to dive into like showing you how to do this stuff. Um, so some tips on how to make sure, I don't know why this picture stayed for so many of the, uh, my slides. I even had my, one of my coaches review my slides and I don't know how he missed them. Um, but here's some quick tips. One, spend more time posting consistently to your Instagram stories. Okay. Spend time. There are days where I like, again, I show up every single morning. I share my workouts every single day and we are working out every single day for our sanity right now. Cause I need to move my body. And there's some days where I like just disappear till the end of the night, but I'm still consistently in my stories every single day. Make sure you're asking questions and make sure you're using polls. I didn't really talk about locations much guys. Um, but tag locations in your stories and also make sure you're tagging locations on your post. And when I shared that hashtag thing, you saw where people were finding me from locations. Um, I live in a small little farm town. I usually don't tag my, where I live because it's, again, it's a small town. Um, so I try different areas and I stay in that town for a week. Um, so for example, Batavia, Illinois, I used to live there. I will tag the same location for an entire week. So that way people that are tag following the Batavia, Illinois location, they're like, this girl has showed up for a week. I want to find out more about her. And then they're going to hopefully come to my stories. Um, use hashtags in your stories. Use them, minimize them, slide them off the screen. You, I never want to see your locations or your hashtags, guys. And make them invisible. Slide them off the screen. And tagging other accounts is actually a really great tool to use because hopefully those accounts will share you. So for example, on our cup business, when people tag us, we share to our stories. So when we share to our stories, someone may like the outfit that you're wearing or they may like the planner that you're using. So they're going to go to that story to go ask you a question to find out where you got it from. So that's why with my outfit of the day, I will tag the people. And the same thing with my post. If I'm wearing a Kaiva pair of pants, I'm going to tag a pair of Kaiva pair of pants. It's just a way for your post to get shared and for other people to see you. Hold on, I got to mute somebody real quick. Okay. Um, all right. My top apps really quickly, guys. And then we're going to go into the fun stuff where I get to show you how to do some of this stuff. So we talked about Flick Tech. It is a website. Okay. Some other um, apps that I use for um, hashtags are Smart Hash and Hash Me. YouTube them, figure out how to use them to the best way. Some of my fun apps, I had a lot of people say, well, do you make all of your stories within Instagram? Yes, I do. Unless I'm like recording directly to my phone. I love the filters. The filters are fun. Um, so I do it right in Instagram, but for like my post, I'll do photo fire in shot to like spruce up my, um, stories. Um, over is another fun one. And in, in stories, Bailey and boss babes did a tutorial that you guys can see. Okay. So that was the fun stuff. Now we're going to pull out our phones. Okay. And we're going to go over some of the stuff that I showed you guys. So I want you guys to take a, you don't have to publish it either. Okay, guys, take a quick photo really quickly of the call. So just, you can do a boomerang. You can do a photo. Just take a really quick photo and don't overthink it. Just do it. Everybody's got their phones out and we're taking a photo. Actually, I think I just took a boomerang. We're going to go with the boomerang. So raise your hands guys. And by raise your hands, I only have 25 of you on my screen. I have 250. This is still unbelievable that you guys took this time out of your life. Y'all, I know nothing about Android. Okay. Everything I teach is on Apple. I am so sorry. If you have an Android, you're gonna have to Google it. I apologize. <laughs> okay. Um, how many of you would just post a picture or a boomerang of a team call like this before this call, or have you done it in the past? Just, you can put me, you can, I only see like 25 of you. I'm going to say probably about 70% of us would do this. Why? What is this telling people? Like, cool. She's on a zoom. Like, cool. She's hanging out with people. Like this tells people nothing, absolutely nothing. So this is when you can start to add fun text to it. And this is what you guys should be doing in your Instagram stories. You should be sharing every training that you're doing, every call that you're doing, because it's going to show people that when they join you as a coach, they're not alone. 
They're going to have the training. They're going to have the resources. They're going to have the community. I have people that join me just because they want the community because they've seen me share the community. So you want to make sure that you're sharing that part of it. You can put something catchy or fun, like Instagram tips or meeting time or business meeting, like whatever it is that you want to put. So put a fun text just really quickly. I love caps. So I'm going to put business. I'm going to put, um, let's see how many I got. 250, 250 coaches ready to learn. So I just did something fun like that. Um, so then what you guys can do, I'm going to show you guys, cause I'll have, I had someone message me. She's like, how do you change your colors? So a couple of different ways that you can change your colors. Okay, guys, you see this little color drop, this little, and I can't get any closer. This is as close as I can get, but this little droplet next to the white, um, on your Instagram, if you click on that, y'all, you can drag it on the screen to pick a new color. Um, like why? Okay. I'm trying to do this backwards. So you can drag it anywhere on the screen to pick a new color. Okay. So this is how I do my different color schemes. If you like the yellow, hold down the yellow, and now you can pick all new colors in this. Did I just blow somebody's mind? Hopefully out of 250, somebody's mind just got blown. So you can pick a whole bunch of colors. Y'all, this is how I do my color schemes though. Okay. I'm making you bounce around. Bear with me. Okay. I'm like a squirrel. If you don't have Pinterest, Google it really quickly. Just go type in color scheme guys. Don't, don't sit here. Don't you, this is where the color scheme comes in, in hand, Caroline. Um, so just go type in really quickly, color scheme, pick one, save it to your camera roll, okay? We're gonna work through some of this quickly so I can show you. So I'm like, ooh, that's pretty, sunset. I'm gonna save the sunset. So I'm saving the camera to my photo roll, okay? You guys got three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, save to our camera roll, right guys? Again, if you're on Android, I'm really, really, really sorry. I only know how to do this on Apple. Okay, y'all. Go to your camera roll. I'm gonna blow some of your guys' mind. Find the pictures. Andrews can't do this. Thank you, Brittany. Brittany's like, we can't do this. Um, go to your camera roll and you see this little button right here, guys. When you click on that picture, you see this little share button right here? We got this. Click on that and it's gonna say copy photo. Okay, so now I've copied my photo, okay? I've copied my photo. Now I'm in Instagram and guess, go to type. Hold your finger down, see where paste comes up. Boom, you've got your color scheme in there. You've got your color scheme in there. Brittany, did you see that? You can't do it with a screenshot. So now your color scheme is, so now go get your little droplet and take your little droplet over your mint. Now you have mint on every single text that you choose for that. So now you have followed your color scheme. Did you guys get that? Do we need to go through it one more time? Selena's like, I did not get that. Okay, Selena, I'm gonna pick on you because you're on my screen. She's next to me. Do you have your color scheme in your box? Selena, I'm unmuting you. And actually, I'm gonna Selena, put you on. I'm gonna put you on speaker view. I think part of my problem is just like blindness. Okay. If I put on speaker view, can you guys see me better? I don't know. Um, changes to okay. Is your color scheme in your in your Instagram story, Selena? No, no, I okay. lost you at the, um, okay, we're doing it all over again. I'm going to work through That's with great. Selena. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You guys have saved your color Everyone. scheme, right? We've saved it. Do you have your color scheme, Selena? No. So I got my picture, but the droplet. So okay. I ignore the droplet, go to Pinterest okay. or go to Google. Great. Um, y'all Pinterest or Google Brenda is where you can go. So go to Pinterest, go to Google and just type in color scheme, just screenshot okay. it, save it to your photos. It doesn't have to be your color scheme. Just save it. I picked like the ugliest color scheme there ever was just to save. All right. Okay. So let me know when you have it. Ooh, it's hot in my house. Brenda, I'm oh, so sorry. That's what you're saying. Like pick a color scheme that I want. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. 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 You got it. Yeah, right. I'm just gonna now go with go. the first one. Go to your photos and just click on like all photos. Okay. Are you in your photo right. album? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now click on the photo that you want. Make it the main okay. photo that you see. Okay, now you see that little share button right here? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna click on that share button and you see where it says copy photo? Yes. All right, hit copy photo. Now go okay. back to Instagram. Okay. Now it's either going to pop up two ways. It's going to either pop up as add sticker or it's going to, if it doesn't pop up, sometimes click on down on your screen and hit paste. Okay. So now you got your color scheme there, right guys? See me doing this with Selena helps because it makes me slow down. 
Okay. Now get your little, now get your little text. Now you hit that uh, as if now you see the little mm -hmm. droplet color. You're going to mm -hmm. hold over that color and guess what? Yep. You've got that color now. Look at you. Okay. I'm going to mute you. Selena, I'll actually have you mute yourself because I can't find it. So simple, right guys? So simple. So what I do when I'm creating a story, say I have four stories, I copy and paste my color scheme on every story. Y'all, sometimes your color scheme will forget to be deleted. I have a story. Who saw that story today where my color scheme is right over my face? Who saw it? <laughs> I forgot to delete it. It happens. People are like, what is that? I'm like, it's my secret. That's my color scheme. I forgot to delete it. Um, and you can just do different things. Okay. The other thing I get asked a lot, guys, is how do I overlap text? Y'all just type in really quickly. Um, just type in a word. Type in a quick word, okay? Just type in your name. It can be something stupid. And I'm going to make just something stupid. So you've typed in, I've typed in my name, Ashley. So now what I do is I just type it all over again, guys, in the same exact text, in the same exact uppercut. I'm so lost. Jessica, I'll unmute you in a second. I'll help you. Okay. And then you just pick another color and you know what I'll do guys. I'll make some tutorials too, to put up on, all you have to do is drag it to the trash can Desiree. I'll make some tutorials and upload them up to my YouTube. Please give me till the end of the week, but I'll put them up there. That way it shows you guys how to walk through it. Okay. Cause I know I've been doing this for a long time. So some of you be like, I hate you because this is way too complicated and it's not, it just, it's going to take some time to do it but I promise you it's going to make your story stand out. Okay. It's going to make people stop. Um, it's going to make your views stick around. Okay. Um, and that's what you want. You want your views to stick around at the end of the day. You want your views to stick around. Um, because that's how people are engaging with you. So yeah, you just overlap the text guys. The other question I get a lot is how do you draw a border around? So you know the different lines that you guys can pick from up on the top, like the different when you're doing different lines. I pick, if you have the arrow, it's the third one over, um, but it's like the little airbrush felt marker. I make it as big as I can off to the side. I drag this, I drag the circle all the way up and then I just drag it around my screen and it doesn't have to look pretty, okay? Some, well, that does not look good. You can't see, of course, I picked like the darkest color, but I just drag it all across the screen to add a border. And that's all it is. It's dark blue. It's the stupidest color because y'all can't see it. Let me do a mint real quick. So now, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll do the borders to keep a collection of stories together. So like my workouts today, I did a border. So you guys see how I have like this mint border? I just drew that with my fingertip, guys. That's all I ever did. Um, the post the color scheme is a little better. Brianna, Brianna Hickman, can you unmute yourself and make your, because once you do, then you'll come on over to my screen and there are 10 screens to find you. I'll be more than happy to help. I've got all the time in the world. Brianna okay, Hickman, sorry. where are you? I, uh, there you are. You're right next I'm to me. Here, I'm here. Okay, Brianna, you have an apple? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Do you have your photo saved? Did you copy it? Yeah, I just pulled from Google. I just okay. used color scheme. Now go back into your stories. Okay. Do you have a story up like you're creating it? Uh, okay. Like I could pretend, okay, here's yep. my shaker cup. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now hit the A, hit the alphabet A. You see the alphabet A in the top corner? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now hold your finger down. See where paste comes up? Does it say paste? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> Go back to your photos okay. really quickly. Hit that share button and hit copy. Yeah. Copy. Cool. Okay, now go back to your stories. Oh, wait, take the photo. Okay, just a second. Yeah, take Sorry, the photo. The millennial. Okay, uh, copy photo. Okay, go to my stories. Yeah. Okay, do you have a fake story you're about to post? Okay. Yeah. Hit the A button again. Now tap your screen yep. and see where it says paste. Yes, okay. There you go. There's your color scheme. Ah, there we go. Okay. Thank <laughs> All you. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So I know we've been on for a bit and really guys, this is what I do in my stories. This is how I decorate them. This is how I use gifts and the way you guys did that copy and paste for your color schemes. Um, yeah, you can select the letters really easily too. Um, but if I had photos to my screen, like I did, it, did, it, did anybody do week four arms today with 10 rounds and the band, my photo and my face in one of my videos, was, mm, I screenshotted it and I share it. And then 
I, Jessica, if you figure it out, girlfriend, send me a message and let's do some sort of video together. That way we can help other people. Um, and all I did was copy and paste it like I did that color scheme. So that's how I add um, images to my stories as well. Okay, guys, so it's 932. So I'm going to take questions for about 15 minutes or until you guys quit answer, asking any questions. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I want you to put question, like type in question, the word question, and then put your question in the inbox. And I do have a favor while you guys are getting your questions ready. And I promise to go as many through as many as I can. Tag me in your stories. Okay. I want to see that you guys are on this call and I want to share the love with you guys. Um, and don't send the, um, just send it the whole question all the way together. And if I don't get to them guys, you can DM me on Instagram, for, please don't Facebook message me. I have 250 unread Facebook messages. I will never get to you. I'm just going to tell it like it is. Send me a DM on Instagram and I will answer back. I always do. Okay. Question locations on posts and stories. I live in NYC and it's a ton of tourist pictures. Yeah. Don't tag NYC. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tag NYC. That's my suggestion. Um, the bigger cities, obviously, they're going to get a lot more views. I never tag Columbus. It's going to get a lot of views. So I tag cities outside of Columbus. I live in Columbus, Ohio, on the outskirts of it. So I'll tag like Dublin, Ohio. I'll tag Hilliard, Ohio. Um, I tag the smaller cities because that'll be a lot easier to tag. I have one city that is like my prized possession and I'm not giving it up because I get the most views. Think Canada or the United Kingdom, y'all. Okay. Just don't think. United States because we can help customers and coaches in Canada and the United Kingdom. Um, so you're going to like mess around with different locations and they're how you can tell guys how many views you have on your stories. I don't know if this was the other thing I wanted to go over really quickly. And this is if you have a personal account, you can't do this, but if you go to your stories and you swipe up on your stories, you can actually see how many people have viewed it. Um, this one doesn't have my analytics yet. Um, and you can tell like if where it was from. So if somebody like fall, saw it from a location or hashtag, you're gonna be able to see. So that's how you can decide what hashtags are worth it and what locations are worth your time. Marysville, Ohio is not <laughs> prime real estate for my locations. Um, so that's my suggestion. Stephanie, don't use it. Um, uh, question, I got the color scheme paste what from there to select color. So you're going to click your little text guys. You're going to, again, you're going to click like your, your a, if you're typing in a thing or whatever the line, whatever it may be, whatever tool you want to use, you're going to click, click the little tool drop. And remember I will get videos posted up line online for YouTube for you guys. Just be patient with me. Um, but I will get them up. Dallas is my personally sponsored coach. She will message me personally. If I have not done them by Friday evening to remind me, how have you found the most success increasing consistency? Y'all, this is the thing, and I forgot to touch this. Do not get hung up on the number of views and the number of followers that you have. Here's a fun little fact. There was a story, a post one day, and they're like, I don't get a lot of views. I get like 500 views on my stories and I have a thousand followers. What? You're getting like 50% of your views. Most people have 5% of their followers watching their stories. How you figure it out, divide your amount of views into your amount of followers. I have about 6% of my people that are following me watching my stories. I don't have 32,000 people watching my stories every single day. I don't get hung up in the number of followers and the number of views. I want to be engaging. And if you go to my feed, I have people engaging on my post. I have the people engaging on my polls. I do not get hung up on the amount of followers and the amount of views that I have. The more you are consistent, the more you are showing up, the more it's no longer you, 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 but it's them, them, them. People are going to come to your stories. They're going to want to see what you're offering. They're want to get to see what you were all about. Share that. That is how you get more views and more growth, growths on your stories and making your story stand out. Okay. Making your story stand out. Raven had a layer. Um, I'll show that in the video because I want to make sure I go through the question. So I will show that in the video. Do you, you said you post the same types of things daily. Are you a day behind? Nope. I'm never a day behind. Nadia, I may not understand your question. Um, but every single day I post the same thing. So every morning it's good morning. <laughs> How are you guys doing? And it changes. It used to be my kiddo stirring my energize every single morning. And then she got too big for me. And now she doesn't do it like clockwork. If I don't post good morning, Y'all, I'm in the hospital dying. Like something is up if I am not posting good morning. And if you follow me, you know me. If something breaks my morning routine, I am not happy. I don't schedule appointments for the morning because I like my morning routine. Ask my girls. They know it. Question. When you do borders on your words, 
on your words. You just color. Yep. I just do the little line color underneath it. And technology challenge. Can Carrie, homegirl, BFF, love you. Message me. I got you. Question, how many hashtags you use in a post? Um, in a post, I use 30. You have 30. Use 30. I have all 30 of them. Um, and yes, I change them up. Natalie, I talked about a little bit in the call. Um, so if you missed that part, but yeah, I change them up. If they're not working for me, I'm always changing up my hashtags. And this is why. If you're using the same 30 every single post, how are, are new people finding you? You know what I mean? Like, how are those people finding you? Um, and sometimes one of my coaches, I don't know if April's on this call. She's one of my nurses on my team. I don't know if she's here. She may be working tonight. Um, she actually used a bar blend tag in her stories. And I know this isn't going to work for everybody, but she used hashtag bar blend. And she actually has somebody that was like, I was actually looking around at Beachbody on demand and I went to bar blend and you, your story stood out for me. And she follows my tips and she signed up a brand new challenger off Instagram. Yes, that's like the unicorn of customers, but it just goes to show you that it works. Do you make groups of hashtags that are mixed or do you use one? Um, I use them mixed. So like my workout ones have like endometriosis, dog mom, planner girl. I love me some planners, like stickers, adult planners and stickers. That is my jam. Um, it's a, a huge part of my team because it's my niche. Like I could tell you half the coaches on my team use planner stickers. Question, what can we do to even get people to look at their stories? Brenda, be consistent. Be consistent. And a lot, guys, if you are like, man, I don't have a lot of people looking at my stories, do the equation. Amount of views on your stories, do the, the oldest story divided by the amount of followers. You will be actually surprised the percentage of people that are watching your stories. Most people average three to 4%. If you are above that, you are rocking it and celebrate that and get unhung up on that number. Okay. Get unhung up on that number. Okay. What's the best way to join you on your journey? Consistent. Be consistent. Y'all do not tell my, my, my coaches love me. Do not tell me you can't help three people a month when I've been helping six people every single month get started for the last 78 months in a row. Do not tell me that you cannot find three people because you can. And you want to know how I know you can? Last month alone, I got 27 leads from Beachbody for people that were signing up for Beachbody On Demand. There are people out there that need us. There are people that out there that want to join you, but they need to find you. They will find you by you being consistent and you sharing your journey wholeheartedly. If I have a piece of cake, guess what? I'm sure and I'm having a piece of cake. If I'm having a bowl of heaping ice cream, guess what? I'm sure and I have a bowl of heaping ice cream, okay? Amber, close to me, we need to hook up. Um, be authentically you. If you watched my stories last week, the internet does not like me. I got some major trolls out there that do not like me and like to hate, uh, hate on me. Guess what? I'm still showing up every single day authentically me because I am helping people. You can find three people every single month if you really want it. Do not tell me or your upline that you cannot. Question, do you hashtag every part? No, I don't hashtag every story. Um, some I do, some I don't. Um, it just really depends on the story. It depends on how much time I have to spend on that story. You'll notice in the beginning of the day, my stories are really fun. And towards the end of the day, they become like one color captions. And that's because I'm doing them while I'm sipping my pre. Um, the pole font is white. Nope, I don't even use that uh, font, Brianna. Um, I just type in my own colors when it comes to the polls. Like I just do my own text and I don't even use the white. I don't use it at all. Um, touch base on IG highlights. Yeah, Grace, absolutely. So guys, make sure you do have your IG highlights and what Grace is talking about, guys. It's in your bio. It's these little circles. Um, a couple of ones you definitely want to have. You want to have um, results from your customers. Um, I call my virtual, I call my accountability group, my virtual gym. So mine says VG results. That way when people go to my profile, they can be like, oh, she does have girls. I have two. I need to put more in there. Um, so I have some of my clients' success stories. Um, I share a lot of my fit journey on there, my kids on there. I've got my dog. I used to have a podcast once upon a time. That's on there. A lot of my recommendations, I do food ideas. So you want to do things that are related to you. That way people can go and see what you're all about. I have people that will like them. And I'm like, I posted that 102 weeks ago, but that's really cool that you spent that much time watching my highlights. Like, I appreciate it. Um, so definitely use that. Um, Tara, you're not going to like my answer. Put on, put on your big girl pants and just do it. Um, it. It takes time, guys, getting comfortable with stories. How many of you like inviting? Who loves to invite? Who loves to invite? Yeah, no one. 
Do we do it? Yeah. Why do we do it? Because we have to. And does it become easier with time? Yes. So it's the same thing with your stories. The more you do it, the easier it's going to become. So maybe for a little bit, if you want to keep your uh, Instagram on private, just remember, it's going to be a little bit harder to build your account. Um, keep it on private and be more comfortable sharing your stories. If you really just want to get comfortable, just go on TikTok, make a couple of fun videos, post them up there and you'll never, you'll think Instagram stories are no sweat after that. Um, it's, it's going to get easier with time. I promise. I promise. I promise. Hey, Erica, Erica just popped up on my screen. Slowly as people are getting off, new faces are starting to pop up. Um, Shelly, I'm not sure what you mean. You just have to pick the colors. I'll do a tutorial later. Painfully shy in this work today. I'm scared. Never the same. I like that. Math mine is no. So you guys, when you do the equation, make sure you move the decimal three, two points over. I know a lot of us are like fried from math with our kiddos, but make sure you move it over. So Mel Melanie, you have roughly 4%. That's great. That is really, really good. So be proud of that number. Um, how do you text the overlap? I'll show you guys in my video. Um, I still block it. I don't like bots. It just gets them off my page. So I block them. I don't know about the uh, hashtags on stories, Lindsay Owens. I only use one. I'm trying to go through these quickly. I touched the highlights. I did use them. Um, what percentage of engagement from tags should we look for? So I try to like look at all of my photos um, throughout the week. I like try to look at the insights of my photos and just kind of do an Instagram audit. I would suggest doing it once a week, maybe sit down on a Sunday night and just do an audit of your Instagram, see what worked, what didn't work. You can go to the insights. So like for the past, it'll tell you for the past like seven days. So I'm up 18 in this past week for my views um, activity. I've had 30,000 more impressions. I've reached 10,000 more people. Um, 4,000 more people have come to my profile. So what I was doing this week works. So it tells me that I was on Instagram and I was sharing more often. Um, I lost 61 followers, not too concerned about it because they weren't my people. Again, if you lose people, they were not your people to begin with. So don't be upset that you lost them. Um, just do an Instagram audit once a week, guys. Okay. Just once a week, do it. Um, I don't think it, it's every person, Melinda, on what time you post. Yeah, there are a lot of questions. So I'm trying to work through it really quickly, y'all, I promise. And if you need to hop off, I totally understand. I will share the recording. Um, look Again, you can look at your insights. So if you guys go to your insights, if it's in your profile, guys, I know I'm moving through some of this quickly, but if you go to your profile and you click on the three little bars and you click insights, that's where you can see insights. Um, so if I go to activity, it'll tell me the time of day. Um, that people are on the most and what day I had the most views. Um, so for me on Mondays, I have more people on at 9 p.m. I never post at 9 p.m. So that's kind of weird, um, but it'll tell you the day, a time of day that you have the most people on. So on Fridays, I have more people on at 3 p.m. More of my followers are then. then so that's when I'm going to tend to post. So you can watch it like that. Um, make it you, Amber, your profile picture. Make sure it's you. Nice, clear, good image. No sunglasses, no hat. Make sure it's you. Um, all of your stories are going to be lit tomorrow. I think I use lit wrong because I'm 32 and I don't know how to use lit correctly. But yeah, they should all be lit. <laughs> um, Mandy, I kind of touched base on that, y'all. Just you got to be consistent. Consistent, consistent. If you, if my coaches on this call could speak right now and they were asked, hey, what's Ashley's favorite word? they would all say consistent because <laughs> that's what I say all the time. Um, no, I'm so Natalie, I'm, I'm not changing up my business any differently than I normally would during COVID. Um, I'm sharing. And if anything, I'm actually doing more than I usually do as far as free. I do not run free groups. Um, my time is worth money. So I do not run free groups, but right now I'm running a free group because people just need a community. Um, I'm sharing, I'm sharing a bod. I've been doing, if you guys look in the boss bay groups, I showed you guys some ideas of some polls that I'm doing. I um, am not just offering the 160 package. I'm offering the $40, the $60, the hundred dollar and the 160 because I will meet people where they want. And I even said on my stories yesterday, if you just need a temporary solution and in four months when hopefully to God, this is all over, you want to go back to your gym. That's cool. And I get it because Beachbody is not for everybody. So if anything, I've switched up the way I run my business and 
fun fact and not a fun fact, but to show you how consistent I am, I had SC 36 last month. I didn't send out one single invite last month because it felt icky during COVID. It didn't feel right to me when everybody's lives were being ripped apart, but I still hit SC 30, whatever I said. Why? Because I've been consistent because the people that could no longer go to the gym or go to CrossFit that followed me, they knew that they could count on me. So they joined me due to consistency. Um, so yes and no about the invites. I am primarily biting off of poll invites currently because I just don't feel right doing cold invites right now. That's just me. Um, no, Christina, your feed is just as important. Y'all, if I go to your feed and you haven't posted in seven days, what happens when the next person comes to your feed and they're like, she hasn't posted in seven days. I can't trust her. She's not reliable. She's not consistent. Like how is she telling me to work out every single day? And she can't even post in her feed every single day. I post four to five days a week in my feed. I don't post seven days. God, who is around when we used to have to post three to four times a day. Y'all that sucked. Yeah. Jenny, that was the worst. Like who the hell has anything to talk about three to four times in a well thought out post now four to five times a week. <laughs> that is what I do. Um, but you gotta be in, you gotta be at least 10 stories in your stories and at least in your feed guys. Yes. I said, I would, um, Andrea, I will, I promise. Um, after you watch what I'm trying tons of notes. Yes. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Um, the link in your bio successful, what do you use for the link? So I use link tree. Y'all make sure your links work. Do you know how many times I go to somebody's Instagram and their links don't even work? Make sure your links work. Okay. Check it sometimes because Linktree is notorious for breaking. So make sure you check it. Um, looking to give my highlights a makeover. Can you arrange your own? Yeah, Amber, you can. You can change the cover photos. Y'all, you can make cover photos in Canva. Super easy to do. You can go to um, Etsy and buy them if you want to. But yeah, you can absolutely redo them. How do you, Tina, did you figure out how to find your insights if you didn't re-ask the question? Is your business a creator? I am a creator. Um, I don't ever use the music really, except I used a really cute. I used what song by Nelly, Ride and Dirty. My kid got a power wheel Jeep and it was the best thing ever. <laughs> um, but mine is creator. Question, you do anything in terms of a power on IG in terms of engaging on it? My business is not like a lot of other people's, Danielle. And I'll keep going through the questions until 10. Okay. And then we'll cut it off after that. Cause I got to go package up orders. Um, I use mom pockets. Again, I run two different businesses on top of like I do beach body and then we have a retail business. So mine is empower pockets. Um, I spend a lot of my time on Instagram at night. I don't allow myself to watch stories until I have replied to all of the comments on my post. So I've answered my DMS. Um, but that's kind of when I do it. Um, and the way that I engage with other people's posts, I know there's like the five, three, one method. There's there's some other ones. I don't know. I actually just go to locations. You can actually search locations in the explore page. And like, I'll go to Columbus zoo. Y'all better not be going to Columbus zoo in Ohio. I'm just saying, and trying to steal my people after this, but I'll go watch their stories. And if it's somebody that I can relate to, and they're already putting up stories, that means they're comfortable on Instagram. They're comfortable on social media. So then I'm going to go to their Instagram and I'm going to see if they're my type of person. And then I'm going to start liking, and I'm going to start commenting on their photos because I want people that I don't have to teach how to be on Instagram stories aside from like this. But if I don't want to have to teach people how to be comfortable on stories. So that's how I've been finding people. I don't like pre-planning contact. That is not, that is not my thing. I am a fly by the seed of my pants type of gal. And if I pre-plan, what if I want to rant and rave about something the next day, then I'm like, oh, now I got to push this content back. That's just not my thing. I don't plan anything. Ask my team. My team loves me, but I don't plan crap. Lisa Douglas is laughing at me because she knows it's true. Amy, I really don't know. You'll have to Google that. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what reach and impressions means. I think reach means how many people saw it. I, I don't know. I don't know. And your in insights is where you'll see it over five years. I've done Oh, thanks, Kelly. Um, Alex Beden. I'm going to give you guys some people to follow. Alex Beden. Alex Beden is a great person to follow. A-L-E-X-B-E-A-D-O-N. I actually think she's about to release a project storyline. I use it and I paid for like a year of it. So she gives me a different prompt every single day. I did one of her Instagram trainings. Um, she has a thing called double down on your DMs that she does free twice a year. Be on the lookout for that. Um, I know a couple of the girls on my team have done it before. I think Lisa, did you do it? You're below me, Lisa. I can't remember if you did it. It was during Orlando. So I'm not sure. Um, 
Um, Stacy, I don't know if you're still on this call, but how do you choose to post in your stories versus your feed? My stories, consider it like a vlog of your daily life. My feed, I try to switch it up. So I try to have a workout. I try to have a food. I try to have my kid. Um, I try to mix it up. I know right now, if you go to my feed, it's a lot of selfies, even though I just told you guys don't do selfies. It's a lot of selfies right now because my life is very boring right now. I can't go to Target. I can't go to the zoo. I can't go to the places I used to take photos at. Um, yes, yes, yes. I freaking love IG music. That's new for Canadians. Um, I'm just scrolling through. I'm so glad you guys are like it. What's her tag again? Oh, I caught up on all of the, whoo, Alex Beat it is her name. L E. A-L-E-X-B-E-A-D-O-N. I think that's how you spell it. Um, and I learned a lot of my stuff from her. Um, and I know a lot of people can invest in their business because we're not all the same point in our businesses. But if you can, definitely try to do some Instagram trainings. Um, explore, guys. Just learn. And so what you're going to learn um, as you start working on your stories, it's going to take a little bit of time, but maybe it'll make you more mindful of not posting 20 Instagram stories of back to back to back to back. Grace, oh. My girl, Brittany asked me how to do that. And I know I told my girl, Brittany on how to do it, but now I can't remember. Brittany, did I send you like a link or something to add that ring around your story? I think I did. I think I sent you a link. Um, yeah, I did. Jordan, Google, don't hate me. Google it, but like search ring around Instagram profile. And what she's asking guys, if you look at my profile, I have a ring around my thing and it's really just a it makes it look like you always have a story there. I don't know if there's any truth behind it, but I do it. Um, even when I should fail, I try not to. Samantha, that's actually really good. Um, I don't get a lot of views from hashtags in my stories, but I have the 10, the 10 is worth it to me. Again, guys, don't get hung up in the numbers. I know so much. So often it's easy to get hung up in the numbers. It's the same thing with success, but we start to look at people as numbers and we don't look at people as helping people. You cannot get hung up in the numbers. Okay. Focus on giving, focus on being consistent, focus on making your stories pop. And I promise you, it may take a little bit of time, but you'll start to see your following go up. You'll start to see your engagements go up. You'll start to see your stories stick. When I go on vacation, People love to follow me on vacation. I think it's so weird. When I went to Florida, I don't know if it's because of the accident or what, but I was having like 2000 views a day on my stories, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. Um, again, I don't compare myself to other people's accounts that have like 5,000, 6,000 views. Um, and now on a daily basis, I have 14 to 1600 people. It was only like that when I was on vacation. And it's because I've been consistent in keeping up with my stories and whatnot. Yeah, you got to quit focusing on the numbers, guys. Um, if anything you got from this call, I hope it's that. Quit focusing on the numbers. All right, I got five more minutes. I'm going to double check. I hope you didn't answer this. I had to, once you just created, I um, did public figure, I think. I think I did public figure. It doesn't really matter. I don't even know how what that's for. But uh, Lindsay, I did public figure, I think. Um, I'm not big on IG. I'm pretty private. This helped me step out. Of it. I know you're not, Nicole. Nicole's one of my coaches, but I'm glad it helped. Um, signing off. I appreciate it. I think I answered everybody's questions. All right. Thank you guys for hopping on tonight. I will make YouTube tutorials. Hopefully, um, sentence Dallas, no bullet points. I talked about that Dallas. She's one of my coaches. That's why I can say that to her. Um, I will share the YouTube links in the boss babe groups guys. And then there'll also be on my YouTube, Ashley Odenweller. I don't post a lot of times on there. I just posting calls. I will get this recording up. If you guys have any questions, please DM me. I'm a nice person. Most of the time I will answer them. Also, Jenny, where can you get your cups? This life made easy. That is where you can get my cups. Um, this, life made easy. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Teresa real quick. I just minimize them and I slide them off the screen. I'll do a screen recording. I'll go over as much as I can. Anyways, thank you guys for hopping on. Thank you for taking time out of your night. Go boss it up, go blow your stories make them lit, slay it, whatever the correct term you youngins are using nowadays. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Good night guys.